Hello and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to deal with Ubuntu with Windows 10 or Windows 11. For both Windows 10 and Windows 11, the process of dual booting the Ubuntu is the same. So, if you watch the video until the end, then you will get the proper knowledge of a dual boot of Ubuntu in this system. First of all, to dual boot the Ubuntu with the Windows, we are going to create a bootable USB drive. So, to create a bootable USB drive of Ubuntu, we need to download the ISO file of Ubuntu. So, to download the ISO file of Ubuntu, you can go to this link. I'll give this link in the description box. So, down here, you can find the two versions of Ubuntu. One is Ubuntu 22.04 LTS, which includes the long term support. Support is up to April 2027. And you can see the another version, which is Ubuntu 22.10. So, it is the latest version of Ubuntu and it has nine months of support until uh, july 2023 so you can download either of these versions um, i recommend you to download 22.04 if you are looking to enjoy the ubuntu for the long term or you can download the 22.10 so after downloading the as follow ubuntu you need to download the software called rufus to make the usb bootable so to download the rufus uh, you need to go to this site. I'll give this site in the description box, so no need to worry about it. So down here, um, you can find this latest uh, update of Rufus, and you just uh, need to go through this link to download the Rufus. So after downloading both of these, you just need to go to the folder where you have downloaded that. And now uh, you need to run the Rufus as the administrator. And here you need to choose the drive which you want to make the bootable. So choose the drive and now you need to select the um, ISO file of the Ubuntu. And now there is no need to make any changes here. Just click on start to make your USB a bootable. So it may take a while so you should wait until that. So after the things are done, you just need to click on close. And now let me open the disk management to show you the partition where I'm going to install the Ubuntu. So this is my Windows 11 system with which I'm going to do about the Ubuntu 22.10. So let me open the disk management and let me show you the partitions there. So it is always a best idea to check the disk management and to get a clear view of the partitions which are in your system. So let me show you these three partitions are of Windows 11. So I'm not going to mess with these partitions. It will create a serious problem if you try to uh, do things with this partition. So this is the unallocated space where I'm going to install my Ubuntu 22.10. And if you don't have the unallocated space, then you can shrink the volume from these partitions and create the unallocated space so now i'm not going to create any partition i'm going to create the partition during the installation of ubuntu so let's get the clear view of these partitions and now i'm just going to restart my system and i get inside the boot menu upon the boot menu with the boot setup key and you need to choose your bootable usb drive from the boot menu Choose the first option, try or install the Ubuntu. So now you need to choose the language um, which is going to be used during the installation process and after that choose the install Ubuntu. And you need to choose the keyboard layout and you can test your keyboard layout here. Just click and continue after that. And now, uh, uh, this is the most important part of the installation. First of all, you need to choose the normal installation and you need to disable this download updates while installing Ubuntu. So, it requires the internet connection. So, yeah, and it will increase the installation time. So, you just uh, disable this option and you can enable this install third party software for graphics, hardware, and additional media formats. So, let's click and continue after that. And now, uh, the Ubuntu installation um, setup as detected in Windows 11. 
on our system. Uh, it says to install Ubuntu alongside Windows 11, which is also a type of dual boot. But in this video, I'm going to create a manual partitioning. So I'm just going to choose the something else. And I'm now going to create a separate partition to install the Ubuntu in that. So choose the something else and click continue. So here we go. Uh, these are the three uh, partitions which I have shown you before in the Windows Disk Management. So we are not going to mess with these partitions. So make sure with these. We are not going to make, make any changes to this partition. Now I'm going to choose the free space. And first of all, I'm going to create a partition. So I'm just going to click on plus button. And after that, I'm just going to choose roughly uh, 6000 MB, which is roughly 6 gigs of space to create a swap area. Of uh, swap area. So basically what swap area does, uh, it is a virtual memory, which helps your system to enhance the performance. So you must create a swap area if you have um, less than 16 gigs of RAM in your system. So it, it is always better to create a swap area in your system. Now just click on OK. So the swap area is created. And now I'm going to create a partition. I'm just going to create the whole size and choose the primary and I use the XT4 uh, file system and I'm going to set the mount point slash so it means uh, it is a root partition where everything is going to be installed so I'm not going to create any other partitions for home and others it will make the installation a bit complicated so I'm just going to create the two partition one is swap and another is root where our OS is going to be installed so the things are done here now a uh, device for the bootloader installation so you need to be very careful with this make sure to choose the hard disk which is inside your system so this is the ssd uh, which is given with its name here so i'm just going to leave it as it is i'm not going to choose any other partition so after this just click on install now click continue again click on continue here is select your location after that I click on continue so here we go installation can take some time so you can grab a coffee and wait for five to ten minutes after that the installation should be done so after the things are done you will see this pop-up message here installation complete now you need to uh, remove your bootable USB drive and now you need to restart your system after that. So make sure to remove the bootable USB drive. So when you restart your system, you will see the scrub bootloader and down here you can see the Windows 11 on SDA1 partition and you can see the Ubuntu top here. Let me at first open the Windows 11 if it is working fine or not. So you can see the windows is loading and I'm pretty sure it is working perfectly fine. So let me again restart and open the Ubuntu. So here we go. So you can see the Ubuntu 22.01 is successfully loaded and it is working perfectly fine here. So hey guys, thanks for watching. I'll make this video if you like, share and subscribe my channel. I hope you guys find my video informative. See you guys in the next video. Until then, signing out.